I love it. So, hey, we're going to start our show here in a second, even though we're recording, and our Samone is late. So, I'm just to here. tell everybody. I'm here. I, well, you're the, it's your show, so you have to be here. And I'm just going to smoke today, ladies and gentlemen, the CAO Brazilian Amazon right there. What are you smoking again? And I'm doing the Monte Cristo Edmundo. Let's see if I can get it. Focus. There you go. Focus, focus, nice. focus, focus. There we go. There I learned go. that trick from Usman, our resident. I know. Uh, or missing sommelier in action. Sommelier. Uh, you know, he'll show up at some point. Yeah, we, uh, so we'll just we're just going to start the show. We're going to run some credits just for fun. This is Two O F Entertainment. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment, with over 100,000 YouTube subscribers and rapidly growing to be the most watched and podcast cigar show broadcast globally. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment. Hey, here we are. Maybe our Samoan will show up today. We'll see. Hey, it's Richard Nixon. So we're, first of all, let us tell the fans about the show. So for you guys that have never seen our show, first we're going to discuss some Cigar 101 things. And today it's going to be how to keep your humidor, how to keep your cigar, if our Samoan shows up. And if yes. not, then, then we go into our dinner guests, and then we talk about whatever, and then we talk about our cigars again. So it's about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what we get off on whatever tangent. We hope you like it and enjoy it. You should play it while you're at your favorite chemist shop or cigar store. Now, where are you? Because you're outside somewhere in I've, London. I've been here before. I've been here before. Uh, this is Arc Cigars in North London. Hmm. Um, I'm sitting in, a, in a, a London summer, which means the temperature doesn't get over 19 degrees Celsius. It's blowing a nice. the gale. Uh, but I am very much enjoying, and let me lift up the phone and show you. Oh, gosh, it goes upstairs. Behind me, as you can see, uh, let me move my hand. You can see that there's a, a wine shop and a, a cigar. Yeah. But, um, uh, and there's people sitting outside. There's Mustafa, there's some guests smoke, uh, drinking wine, right. smoking cigars. Very North London. I like I like the way Musta I like the way Mustafa looks away like he's wanted uh, a wanted poster, you know, from like a government. Or Mustafa, it's okay for you to like look at the camera. You won't a break serious, it. Serious, a serious yeah. H. Upman smoker. May I? Absolutely. Really? Uh, this I is love how H. Upman. dedicated he is to the H. Upman uh, brand. Wow. That's the back of his look phone. That. That's the back wow. of his phone. That's that's a now now this is an interesting topic in itself. I have seen more and more. Uh, dedicated cigar smokers, cigar aficionados, and even the yeah. newbies. Now, including myself, we champion our favorite cigar bands on the back of our phones. And what really? it does, it's a, it's a really nice, interesting conversation piece if you're sitting at an airport or you're sitting at a yeah. cigar lounge and people have a look at what's on the back of your phone. It just gets the yeah. conversation flowing and going. Right. Now, wait, how do you do that? Because the back of my phone just has naked pictures of everybody's wives. Let so me show you. how do I get, how do I do? Yeah, please. So what, so what we, all of us, we've got, we've got these transparent cases. So you have a, your phone mm. on the front and you, you can get transparent or semi opaque cases. And it's right. a really nice way of showing off. I'm going to do that. Your, your, I like your that. favorite brands. Wow, I can be snobbish now. I like it. All right, I'll put. I'm going to put all my expensive cigars in there. You know, like my CAO Brazilian Amazons. That people are like, right, what the hell is right. that? It's just a conversation piece. It beautifies yeah. your phone. It's your little hub. It's something to waste your time on for five minutes when you're breaking a conversation. But I've noticed a lot of people um, that I meet regularly. It's sort of like a. Right. Uh, it's like a little hobby that's taken off. It's a bit like the Rubik's cube. Sixty really? years ago. Yeah. So, wow, uh, all right. Uh, so in, in lieu of our resident sommelier, who has, still hasn't turned up yet, yeah. uh, he would have given us a, a 101 on cigar accessories. My accessory yeah. is not a cigar accessory. It's my phone, which I've, I have customized into a cigar accessory. So, I like uh, that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a clear case for my iPhone, and I'm going to start putting my labels um, on my phone. Cause I think that's very cool. I like that. That is very kind of a, that's kind of a, like a very stylish kind of F you. I like it. Yeah. I, by the way, just for your info, I got a brand new phone. So I had to update everything. I'd take all the bands out, get a new case. Right. right. Uh, uh, in looking for cases, you'll find that the transparent cases for the iPhones have that 
circle on the back for their magnetic charging. Uh, yeah. It's harder to find a completely transparent case. You just go on Amazon. It's easier. Yeah, but I need the I need the magnetic thing for my charging though. Um, you could do it, but it, uh, as a purist, it'll cover up some of the bands. But go for it. That's okay. I mean, you know how pure. Listen, we all know me. How pure am I really? I'm a Bond Very villain, pure. according to you. You're there, yeah. there, Stephen. <laughs> I'm as, I'm as pure as the driven snow. So now your friend who's sitting next to you that's wanted by Interpol. So what is um? So he's so, smoking an H up. Hello. There you go. I like, I like I like the way he keeps looking away because yeah, like he thinks Interpol is watching. Re- there's a very very good reason. Uh, let me allude to it without going into it. He's a he's a right. a little bit of a celebrity on a specific uh, high end social media circuit oh ah, once again there's my signature calling card i was gonna say they're coming from mustaf right now there you go so uh, so mustafa um yes you can find him on instagram but yeah um He's at different he's levels of cigar smoking. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So he's like, in, unlike, unlike us, he's a real celebrity. He's a proper one. So wait a minute. So he's too big to be having on our that, channel and say hello. Said that, having wow. said that, having said that, let me yeah, remind yeah. your audience that as of one month ago, you got 100,000 subscribers in climbing. And that yes. makes you tops in my books. You're going places. This channel, along with Dave, who's running it, Dave. Uh, we don't mention Dave enough. I, I kind of feel Dave needs to join in these conversations from time to time. But what a what a king behind the scenes. Uh, yeah. So you guys are celebrities in your own right. I'm just here to oh. fill space, fill time. <laughs> you're, you're here to fill. Must have mean, what does he have, like 8 million followers? Like, um, uh, yeah, really? that's, that's uh, yeah. at a di- he's at a different level. He's at a different I level. Can see. No wonder <laughs> he doesn't want to. What wanna... I do is I <laughs> hang around people like this to marinate in gotcha. there. Sure. In, in, in their in their success, <laughs> perhaps right. some will rub off eventually. Does he give us? Day. Does he ever give us a? Sh- does he ever give the show a shout out? He does. If you go back to few him. shows when I was sitting in Tom Tom, or three yeah. shows, uh, mm. Mustafa uh, was uh, Mustafa and another friend of mine, Ali, gave shout outs. Them. Sure, uh, and they contributed to that show. Uh, it was Thank an you. AI show. We were talking about guests. Anything related to yes, AI, yes. and they came up with the uh, with some of the guests. My brain has melted a long time ago. Uh, right, even right. today, Mustafa. So the topic today um, is losers. And yes, for those it who are is. watching first time, what we do is we do a little bit of a cigar show. We talk about what we're smoking, but actually the whole point of this show is for us to rant and rave, and for other people to to hear about what people who smoke cigars what we talk about. Right? We talk about very right. normal. Uh, well, things, but we've yeah. come up with some themes, and and that gets the conversation started and may go off in different directions. So we thought, if we were to have three guests each sitting with us yeah. over dinner over cigars, who would they be? And our theme for this yeah. week was losers. Okay, Famous well, that'd be fun. Losers. So, so wait a minute, I have a question now because Mustafa's sitting with you. Are you trying to hint at something here, or are we always, you know, yeah. is he going to be part of the show? I'm just saying. Well, Mustafa's <laughs> found yeah. his loser. He's got me to smoke okay. with. <laughs> okay, good. Just want to make so, sure. Uh, I want to see how that was going to go. Okay. So now he could be part of the show. Me. Does he want to be? You nudged me into that one. You I know. I, I, know, me, I, know, I know. You know, you cajoled me into that right. direction. I know. Because you know why? Because Mustafa's check cleared. That's why. Um, so <laughs> that's the whole thing. Now, if he wants to be on the show, you know, we can. he can be on the show right now with us. and be, uh, He, he can vocally be on the show, I think. Okay, vocally, he doesn't want to vocally, show his face. Fine. Vocally. Right. But as okay. I was saying, Pre the show, he has already right. given me my three okay. guests. He didn't give me the three guests. He gave me the inspiration for the three guests, which are, again, tied together by a theme uh, other than losers. And I think it's brilliant. Mm. Um, and when you're ready, and I had just got a message from our resident sommelier that he'll be on the next five minutes. Why don't we make his life difficult and start and just throw him in the middle? Oh, I like it. And before we do that, I want to say a shout out to Glenn Fargus. Uh, I just finished their 40-year-old in this glass um nice. but i'm gonna have another glass in a little while um it'll be poured by an 18 year old but you know uh, my the girls i go out with can't be older than the scotch i drink it's the way it works yes, your wife um, is not listening to this youtube broadcast <laughs> and and here's the best part when she does 
I am in so much trouble constantly. This is the she she literally this is one of the, she watches this in Lost Dollar, and and she'll watch the shows and she'll say to me when they're done she'll be like really you said that huh and I'm like yes I did and she'll be like uh huh and then I'm you know in the doghouse for a couple of days and then I put her on a private jet somewhere and then she loves me again it's a it's a good marriage I like the way it works so you know that's how it works. When the so. news comes out, ask him for the lighter. Mine's out. Sorry, I'm out of gas, and I'm I'm asking. For oh gas. my God, I had Mexican I food last night, so I have lots of gas. The benefits of sitting here yeah. is I could just ask him. A cigar will appear, and a light will appear, etc., etc., etc. Et 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 this is I called, like that. This is called guerrilla filming. This is filming on I movie. See that. I kind of in, I'm beginning to enjoy this a little bit. I wish it was hotter here. I would enjoy it a lot more. But um, it is. Ready? We can go with our. It is what it is, my friend. All right, who's our first loser today? I picked now, sports teams. I have a theme. Now, all my losers yeah. were going to be real world, but they're all fictitious. And these, okay. And the whole point of choosing losers was I thought, I thought, maybe mistakenly, maybe correctly, that losers are pretty interesting people because they've been through shit. And yeah. I thought they would make great cigar guests. Loser number one comes from a very famous U.S. Netflix series. Um, the follow-up to Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Okay. Oh, yeah, Better Call Saul. Okay. And it is my favorite villain, Lalo Salamanca, the man with a Ooh. smile on his face at all times, who loses in the end. He gets killed by another villain. Hello, right. boys. I think what a charming villain Usman yes. is. No, Lalo Salamanca is. Uh, uh, look at him all dressed these, up. These, these, yeah, look, look at, at that. Like well, well, excuse me. Look at that. Woo. Hey, the boys. Wow. Hey, the boys. hey look at you. No you, you guys so say, now... I'm sorry, you guys are both not as per the agreement. In your case, so I, I, could, I could always be 100% that Raza will always wear a t-shirt with a tie. In your yes. case, I was... I wore my... Mandarin jacket. I don't wear ties anymore. I used to oh, when okay. I was younger. Now I, I mandarin jacket or I wear a uh, nice dress shirt with us with my suit. Nice take to me. And sometimes Sorry, we have people watching as well at the same time. By the way, I see that. So <laughs> his first loser. We start. We're going to go into how to take care of your humidor. Humid at ah, your humidor right after we do our first dinner guests. His first loser is somebody from only, um, Better Call Saul. Qu- yeah. My only question is, you guys started twelve minutes early. Well, well, what happened was is that um, uh, the host of the show no, said, if our, if, if our Salome can't get here on time, his time, meaning he's like, oh, we're going to start. I'm like, okay, and there you go. So. I'm always on time. Why should everyone Raza, be Raza, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We agreed, we agreed to delay the time for every week by 15 minutes. Well, throw me in a river. In which, we're in here. Which, in, 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 no, no, I'm perfectly fine with that. I am sorry for being late. That's why I'm saying you're okay, my friend. It's okay. It's so listen, you know, he's you know how princess is. We do what princess wants. So, uh, you know, fair enough, fair enough. Then it's fine. And In fact, princess, princess has been smoking that cigar happy. for the last hour. Yeah, princess has been having a show without a show for the last hour. So, it's okay. Uh, okay. So, fair enough. There I'm you go. What are you smoking? Yeah, what are you smoking? What is so this? Smoking? Is, what is that? <laughs> oh, a Gloria. That's a Gloria. I know that one. That's a Gloria. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is one of the only two oh, no, last long, long penantilas. Long penantilas available now. Long okay. In the Habano's portfolio. And, and it is. The, it's gone now, yeah. It's like an old. Uh, who's, who's talking? Who's talking? I've got Mustafa sitting next to me. Mustafa is my uh, resident uh, uh, technical. Production advisor. Advisor. Absolutely. Hello. Right. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so this is a La Gloria Cubana Thank Media D4, and just so that we're here, this is the only other long panatila available, which is the Wow. Porla Ranaga Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Is that right, the Monte, right. Carlos? Monte Carlos? Yes, yes, that's the Monte Carlo and the La Gloria Cubana Media D4. Yeah. Usman, Usman, I love the tie. Yes. I love the tie. The black, green, and yes. I love this tie. Very Vaguero. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, you, exactly. You, you, my friend, if I may say, mwah, exquisite. Yeah, you, 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 you are sir. Mr. GQ. 
I don't want to say anything about our host of the show who looks like he just woke up um, and slept in the jacket. But uh, you, my friend, you are dressed to the nines. So there you go. So. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. The whole purpose of me was to bring the tone down slightly of this very classy <laughs> show. My, yes, that, we my, that. I told you the raggedy edge. The raggedy yeah. edge. Yeah, yeah. And just to let you, you know, you, you, you succeed in that every week. I, <laughs> at least I don't lose on that. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. You do very good. Uh, all right. So after we do the first round of dinner guests, we'll talk about how to make sure your humidor is perfect. Um, so my dinner guest, though, I went with, this is going to be an interesting one, a loser that then became a winner. Okay. Yes. And my loser is Steve Jobs and Apple. When they were Very almost on the choice. verge, when they were almost come up with something intelligent, you yes. you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't you can't you you can't come up with choices which are yes, like yes, I can. the global the, the the global accepted uh, choices like Steve Jobs. I mean, I, I love him because of this reason. No, no. but 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 it is if you think about Steve Jobs and Apple were going to go bankrupt and Microsoft, Bill Gates actually loaned Steve Jobs and Apple money. And I that turned that. Apple, and that app turned Apple around. So Apple went from being a loser to being what it is today, um, which is a company uh, no one ever really talks about. So a there loser you go. who became a winner. That is there you a go. Very very interesting choice. Hmm. What, Stephen, you what was, what, even before Tom says anything, you win. What, what was what was Princess's choice? Princess was picking some guy from a television show. They are picking it and whipping it out me. Which river should mm -hmm. I jump into? Mm -hmm. The Thames. Thames. Well, that's the Thames. That's the closest. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, okay, and, and Osman, who's your choice? You, while you do it, ask Mustafa to film it for us so that we're sure that you're not going to come back soon. All right, Osman, who do you have as your choice, your first right. dinner guest? Okay, so my first dinner guest for tonight, since you've talked about Apple, that is Ronald Wayne the third co-founder of Apple, who actually was a loser, sold the companies and his shares for $2,300 at a time, and since then has not been able to financially recover from anything and everything. And nobody wow. remembers him in history. So that is what I call a classic loser, where Steve yeah. Jobs and Apple is now the global giant. This gentleman who actually was one of the three partners is nowhere to be seen or found or heard of. Wow. Is that the guy that gave the shares back, though, because he felt that he wasn't contributing? Yes, sir. I don't think that was – I don't think he would be considered, in my book, not a loser. I think he was a gentleman. I think he realized how big Apple was going to be, and he's like, I did nothing for you except I think he gave him a few dollars, and, and that was it. So I think that has a lot to – I think that has a lot to do with his character. Well, agreed. On, on, that, ca on that count, you are right. But but if we talk of the pure commercial terms, that's a different story. Oh yeah, then that's yeah, then yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. All right. Now before we go to guest number two, um, yeah. tell us if I have if I have a humidor, a brand new mm -hmm. humidor, how do mm -hmm. I cure it to make sure that when I put my cigars in it are gonna be beauty? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Oh well, your cigars are a beauty in any case. That's a work of art. Well that's true. But how, do, but how do you make sure that they stay a beauty when I get a brand new humidor? Tell our fans. Right. So, so, so humidors are of different types. Uh, there, are two more, there are two things which are the most important when it comes to the humidors. Uh, number one, they need to be airtight so that they right. can retain the humidity inside them. And two, they are not of a substance which ultimately destroys your cigars or is something which is not acceptable. So the most acceptable widely globally uh, is the cedar wood, which is right. what the humidors are made of. The conventional humidors are made of that. Uh, now we've seen a lot of modernization where you have the electric humidors as well. But since we are talking right. about the first humidors, I will stick myself to just the desktop cedar wood old style uh, or, or, or individual humidors and not the big commercial ones or even for the bigger connoisseurs or, or the seasoned connoisseurs. Right. So whenever you get a, a, a wooden humidor, uh, the first and foremost thing is ensure that it is a cedar wood humidor and not some odd wood because any other wood will not be able to absorb humidity and the wood will actually 
uh, absorb water and humidity, which will again then ultimately destroy your cigars. Cedar wood is the only one which does not absorb uh, humidity per se, and 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 lets the cigars uh, be in their natural condition. Coming to how a, 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 a first humidor should be picked up. Any humidor that has a proper sealing system, which means a double walled or, or has the right kind of screws or a clasp or a, uh, something that is perfectly fine to be used as a humidor. There are different ways of keeping the cigars humidified within the humidors. Number one, be the old school, which is where you use the distilled water in, in the foaming agent, which is available in that. The other is uh, Zycar makes gels, so you can put that right. gel bottle inside it on one side, and then if, you can do if, that. If I may ask, yeah. why why distilled? Now everyone's going to ask this, and I know people don't. Why is distilled <laughs> water over? Why distilled water over regular sink water? Because from the regular sink water, there is bacterial growth, there fungal growth, and all that stuff, and that would not uh, be appropriate, and it will allow the mold and fungus to grow. Whereas distilled water okay. itself being cleaner and, and, and uh, de-ined, uh, it, it helps the humidity to be there and not allow any kind of growth to happen. So that's, that's gotcha. one of the other reasons. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, and and so, so that's the second method is using gel technology. And the third one is using any of the humidity packs, the two global giants being Bovida and Integra Boost where right. you, you can use either of the two uh, packs uh, and, and they are good to go just for someone's understanding. Uh, this is what a Bovida pack looks like. I mean, for a small humidor right. uh, and, and, and for- I've, I've uh, tried, I don't like the, I gotta tell you, I'm not a big pack fan because I've tried it and I don't think yeah. they work as well. For me, for a big humidor, so, so, I think they go for a traveling humidor, it's good. Th that, that's exactly right. So so right now I have right. this uh, and, and, and this is this is what it works for. Uh, so these are these. So this is what you do. Uh, season them. The first and most foremost thing is when you get a new humidor, which is a wooden humidor, you have to season it for about 10 to 15 days, which means you okay. put it in a relative humidity of somewhere around 84, 85 uh, relative humidity. And that would allow the wood to become seasoned and be ready for the cigars to go into that. Once that is done, you put in a 69 or 72 or a 65, depending on your personal preference, how you like your cigars. I generally like them at 67, 68, and I ideally keep a 69 relative humidity uh, for the cigars that I smoke. And you put it, and then, then you're good to go. Uh, the second element, which also impacts the conditioning of cigars, is the temperature, which should ideally be kept between 16 to 21 at the most. Hence, uh, with that's, these and that's up, Celsius, everybody. That's Celsius, yeah, oh, everybody. My, so, my bad. Yes. So yeah, so uh, 36. So that's so that's basically 66 to um, 72 is what he's trying yes. to say Fahrenheit. Apps Fahrenheit, yes, right, and 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 so for these desktop humidors, you need to put them in an environment or in a room or in a place where the temperatures are within these ranges. Anything uh, beyond or lesser than that will impact the humidity because the humidity is relative. The moment right. the temperature goes down, the relative humidity automatically goes down, regardless of what kind of pack you've put it in or, or, or uh, vice versa when it goes up and all that stuff. This is for the cedar wood humidors. There are two other different types of humidors as beginners, which can be used. The second one being acrylic boxes or, or the oh, yeah. Tupperware. The Tupperware. Uh, and 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 I am I am I am a very very uh, pro to the thing that I mean one should be able to uh, do whatever they are comfortable doing it. Sometimes people cannot buy a cedar wood humidor just to start up with. So a normal Tupper door uh, Tupperware box, which is odorless or or something which is an acrylic ones like Bobida makes and all right. of those, which have a proper tight seal, you can use that. Uh, and the third one being uh, the Zykars travel case. Ah, and he left us. So now it's just us again. So what happens? Oh, he got invaded by the Taliban. Oh, now we're back. He was there in full go. flow. So, so, there so, you go. <laughs> so, so Zykar has those up to 80 cigars. So any of those can be used based on your requirements and all that stuff. So uh, these are three different types of initial startup 
uh, humidors one can get and utilize okay. them and and that's that's where uh, we start rolling and and enjoying this beautiful hobby of ours we very can nice. we can in, very in, good. In, thank in, you very in, much in, 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 thank you much I, I i think in the next one we'll talk for of of slightly more advanced uh, formats of humidors and how okay. um, and how the serious connoisseurs can benefit from all of these uh, kind of humidors or the advanced options as well as we can also talk about uh, season the difference between seasoning as loose sticks and boxes very cool all right so next week we're going to go humidor number part 2 so that'll yeah. be very exciting. And maybe maybe Rizzo will get a real microphone by next week so we don't hear everybody talking at the store. But God forbid that'll happen. So, you know, we'll have to buy it for him. All right, here, let's let's unmute him. Oh, he's unmuted now. So yes, Princess, who's your who's your second dinner guest? Or do you have anything to say about humidors? Uh humidors are good for cigars. Um, the oh. second, wow. The, uh, wow. wow. The, this, uh, this guy's this knowledge of cigars is uncanny. It is ultimately, unbelievable. Ultimately, ultimately, mm -hmm. uh, I think that the Tupperware box is the best is bag the best. box solution on anything. Find a nice, I agree. Which is my brand new odorless Tupperware. In fact, put a cedar stick inside it. Put a cedar stick inside it, or it, it better still find an old cigar box, take the cedar, uh, you know, the cedar, yes. uh, cedar lining, uh, cedar, yeah. lining. The cedar panel, curve it round, put it inside yep. the top of that box, put your cigars in, put a Pavita bag or two in, uh, you're yep. finished. You're finished. Yep. You don't need to buy six million pound Ellie Blur boxes or. Uh, excuse Ellie me, Blur excuse boxes. me, I have two of those. Yes, you do. But it's good to have. <laughs> yes, you do. But it's good you to do that. Stephen, Stephen, yeah. thank you. Very, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much yes. for stopping him there and then. This is exactly why I said we will have a round two. Because yes. despite all of these. Round two. And round two in the next week on, on this. <laughs> Very we, will talk about, we, yeah, we will talk about why, why? do we need uh, this kind of a humidor. Right. Well, because you need an Ellie Blue because they lacquer it 40 times over. And, and when I need to like get dressed, I can use it as a mirror. So and, I, and, I have and my apart, Ellie Blue. Apart from an Ellie Blue, you also need an Ellie Blue. Oh. Can I tell you, when you're a New York Jew, it's Ellie Blue. And when I'm fancy schmancy in the UK, it's an Ellie Blue. There you go. So. Bring <laughs> it on. Bring it on. Um, I, look, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm way, trying to way, plan it. Let me say, something. Let me say yeah. something. After all that, yeah, I love you both. I, I love spent hanging out with you guys, even though I can't hear yep. you and you can't hear me. I love it. Well, that's why we love you because we can't hear you. That's the best part of you. So, round two. We can hear you. We can hear you and a lot of others. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Round two. Who's your dinner guest? Now, round two. I want, uh, who, could be, who could top Lalo Salamanca? Anybody. Hector, Hector Salamanca. The man oh in the wheelchair. God. The man in the wheelchair who can't speak, who does ding, 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 ding. <laughs> if for anyone who's watched Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. That's 96.8% of your audience. Everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. This character All was right. damn interesting because he used to have people killed. And he met, he met a very poetic end where he right. used the ding, ding, ding ringer to make his wheelchair explode and kill his adversary who was standing in front of him. Now, I think wow. Hector Salamanca is one hell of an intimidating villain. Uh, he's okay. a loser. He loses in the end. He doesn't right. get his drugs empire. But that's my dinner guest number two. Very interesting. Well, I'm going to go with a sports team because I have to. Oh, I'm, I, love, I, love, I love them. I love them. And then my last loser is going to be a fictional, but I'm going to do two sports teams just because I love them both. One is the New York Mets. Please at some point become winners again. And two to the New York Knickerbockers who got all the way to the playoffs and then lost and didn't make it to the NBA world finals losers, but still love you. Sorry. So, Cause you only cut, you only, you're only a winner if you come in number one. So, but th those are my, those are my sports, my rest of my, my, those are the two losers. I, the group of those guys for dinner would be fun. Sounds good to me. Who do you have, Osman, as your as your second dinner guest? 
Right. So for me, it's it's someone who is globally um, kind of accepted by a lot Donald of Trump. No, Elon well, Musk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can keep going. Both good, both bo- both good choices on your end, but I'm sure you'll be pleased by my choice as well. And that is Adolf Hitler. Oh yes. I, oh yeah. So, oh yeah. To me, to me, to me, is a loser. I mean, of course. Me, oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, I mean, yes. I mean, yeah. doing all what he did. Can I use now, a French what, term? No, no, what, no, no. Please. Before you do that, before you do that, what's his legacy? Fucking today? hell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what's his legacy today? Anyone and everyone just remembers him in the bad terms, and that to me is a loss of character, morality, yeah. and human humanity, and all that stuff. So I, I personally think he's a loser. I agree. I agree. I go with that, and um, and he did a whole bunch of horrible things to my people. So I, yeah. uh, I, you know, he's he's right there. So, but yeah, I don't. I usually don't give him a second thought. Uh, but uh, there you go. That was an interesting. That, but I don't know if I'd want to be have him as a dinner guest. Like you know what I mean? Oh. I mean, I'd have a dinner guest. It'd be a baseball bat dinner guest. Like I want to <laughs> beat him to a pulp. I'd be like, oh, I'm glad you're here. You know, like in Deadpool, like when he could kill the Hitler baby, it's kind of the same thing for me. It's like, yeah, I could see that. It's but like yeah. a bit like in Glorious Bastards when um, the guy yes. comes out with a baseball bat and ting, 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 ting. Mm-hmm. Round three? Got it. Round yes, three. Sir, round yes, three. please. I'm going to go for a loser who, a real one, I'm going away from the fictional, I'm coming back to real world. This will be interesting. I'm going for someone who died, who, who lost but won, and is hailed as a hero in British society. I think I'm... Lord Admiral Nelson. Really? Absolutely. Died okay. on HMS Victory, cannonball shot. Uh, famously was brought back home in a barrel of rum. I like that. To preserve him. Um, sure. that much. Stands atop yeah. the most famous London monument at Trafalgar Square. Okay. Uh, Nelson's column. Sure, because Nelson's got to have a column. Died uh, a very horrible death. Lost an arm, lost a leg, had it amputated, etc., etc., no, no wonder it's easy to get him in a bottle thought, or a, thought a, a he had of lost, rum. but actually had won. And okay. I think that is, at least in British society, the most famous okay. winning loser, if you feel like it. So heroic loser, okay. but he won. Sure. So Lord Admiral Nelson. Very nice. Well, I'm, my, 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 my next one is a, is a fictional one. But before I say that, I just want to say, I guess the biggest losers would be um, King George III and the British people back in 1776. Uh, well, let's not go into that. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, I wasn't going to bring it up. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> How do I get off this show? <laughs> <laughs> um, get me off. You guys got to win, so my, my, my biggest... <laughs> There you go. Thank you very little. So my biggest loser, I guess the best fictional <laughs> loser is... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Listen, listen, <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down, ladies, calm down. Um, my the third dinner guest that I would love to have is a cartoon that we all know, and he is oh. constantly losing. It's got to be Wiley E. Coyote. Wiley E. Coyote. Yeah, brilliant. Coyote. Brilliant. That's the brilliant, brilliant loser. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. That's actually sure. perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. You redeemed yourself magnificently. A bit oh, like I knew Lord I had Admiral, to. Like Lord Admiral Nelson. Thought he yes. lost, but he won. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, so I think Wiley E. Coyote, if we can literally have him, that would be so awesome. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. I, that is I, just I, I think you need to rename the show the Acme Cigar Show. Oh, that could be interesting. I'm I'm assuming YouTube would flag us in about a minute. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just misspell Acme. We'll do A K M E Acme. Okay, I like it. Cigar show. cigar show. If we tell David that, David will have a heart attack. He's going to have to redo graphics. <laughs> again, again, again. Okay. Again yes. and again and again. It's like every week. It's like, hey, David, can you do some more graphics? So, uh, Usman, <laughs> don't forget, David's waiting for your cigar. Take a picture. Oh, oh, I will send you. I will send you right away. 
Ground Warriors. All right, so Usman, who's okay. your third dinner guest? Yes, yeah, so so oh, my he's got it written down on paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 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 my third dinner right. guest is yeah. is is very interesting. Uh, a gentleman who has his roots from the South Continent in South Asia, uh, okay. who was gifted a billionaire kind of a status and an empire, uh, and and I, I mean I'm yet to come across someone who was gifted or inherited a business of alcohol, okay. and still lost everything. Uh, it's it's one of the top most non known billionaires who's again lives in the United Kingdom, Vijay Malia, who had Kingfisher uh, beer. Oh company. yes, Kingfisher, and sure. And then moved into Kingfisher game and and F1 teams, and I then so. Kingfisher yep. Airlines, and and yep. and, 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 and a, a, a team in the IPL and all that stuff. And, it's intellectual, uh, intellectual. What, what, I fly by. Yeah, the, what, a, what a downfall! What a downfall in that case. Yeah. And and he's fighting court cases, survival rights, and all of that. I have not the, the United Kingdom. I have to think yeah, about that them. That to me is a, that to me is yeah. a big loser. That's too good. That's too good. I will. I can. I can tell you, even though Rizzo doesn't think we can hear him. Uh, I'll put him on mute for a second. I will tell you that when Fisher King Fisher was going out of business back in 2010, 11, or whenever. We were actually in the UK doing consulting for another client, and they actually contacted us and asked them to help them. Uh, we had a meeting, and then they told us what their issues were, and we were like, "Good luck and God bless." So it was like we would love to we would love to charge you, but it, like we are, you could already just see the writing and the financials were terrible. So it was like, yeah, I know. So I remember them. That's why when you mentioned his name, I smiled, and I remember he had the F one team, and then. Um, his F1 team was like having a heart attack because they had to go find a sponsor yes. relatively quick. Yes. I remember that. Yes, yeah. There you go. There you go. That was it. That was it. Those are the good old days. Now we're back, you know, 2024. So here, you know, let's bring Rizzo back. Now he's paying attention. Um, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. Look at you paying attention, princess. So. I was actually, I was actually commenting to my colleagues. Yes. You guys really bring the game. I mean, I really enjoy this. Uh, I, I've tried in the last two or three uh, episodes to, um, to wing sober? my guests, wing my guests a we little know. bit. No, we know. Um, we know. <laughs> and, Tell us um, something new. Tell us something new. This is, this is the old news. Yeah, what do you, yeah, yeah. You're the host. We know you. You wing the whole show. We got that. What else? <laughs> <laughs> Did your daughter watch last week's show? That's the most important question I got asked by everybody that watched the show. I'll find out. I haven't spoken to her since last week because she's abroad and she's she's flying back in the next three or four days. But when ah, she's back okay. in town, uh, we'll have a, a little uh, because uh, because the the very nice consequence of that is there is a a youngish crowd, even a female crowd, who are beginning to take an interest in cigars generally mm -hmm. and what this cigar community is about, other than just cigars. Because in my opinion, right. it's not a, just about the cigar. I can smoke on my of own. Course all the time uh, and I'll, right. in that moment i'll enjoy my cigar and i'm I, I'll, I'll invariably watch you guys on youtube or an old movie and i'll in, I, right. I enjoy you know cigar smoke just rising in front of me but what the younger crowd are enjoying is this conviviality that comes with cigars and the conversation that yeah. comes and 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 i think this this exercise is a really nice sort of a, a foray for a younger crowd to see what is it these these guys sit around and talking about so right. i think that's the kind of feedback that i'm going to get and then then like so not my oldest daughter my the, the, the i've got three daughters the next one along is really into cigar lighters she loves cigar wow ah, so she's okay. into accessories kind of thing um it's that kind of world it kind of draws you in it, it, it and, yeah. and and i'm hoping i'm going to get some really good feedback from that so that's my serious thought of the day. Uh, you bring me on to family. Wow. I get very serious about family. Uh, but, uh, but there you go. I don't know so why my balloons keep doing that. but uh, there they, you they keep doing that because we're talking about wholesome topics rather than shooting the breeze. Uh, okay. uh, and, uh, okay. <laughs> they're doing it. You must be doing something, Stephen. I'm just sitting here. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so. I, think, I think those gestures, like this gesture should do something. Well, you got to turn like the a, thing. You got to turn. You got to turn it on to do that. And I know this one. There you go. There's a thumbs up. Uh, there's a. Uh, let's see what that does. That just gives you another thumbs up. I thought this did something. <laughs> a peace sign. 
All right, sorry, I, fans. I, I, so. I, I'm just wondering, what are the fans going to say? These three idiots are just checking which works where? Two, two idiots, <laughs> yeah. two idiots. No, no, no. Consider me one. I, 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 no, I, I, one idiot. Sorry, one idiot. One idiot. See, no, no, that's, you know, we have, we all, we all have our moments. It's the way it goes. Mm-hmm. I'm so having a long one. I'm having a very long. I'm having a moment that's lasting fifty-two years. I was just going to say oh, your wow. moment's fifty-two years, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't worry. We were, we were going to, we were going to bring that up. We're good. So now, as everybody knows, I'm smoking my favorite, my CAO Brazilian Amazon, oh, which is a beautiful is. smoke. Um, once again, no, I can't taste anything. But the, the smoke and the, and, the, and the aroma from it mwah, is one of the best. I think it's one of the best cigars out there for the price. For the price point, it's a great cigar as an everyday smoke. Yeah. So, Amazing. And so, 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 so the La Gloria Cubana, I mean, I'm, I'm already in love with this cigar. Uh, there are only two Vitolas that come out, the number four, and yeah. the Turcoinos, which is a thicker version. I still love this because these are now becoming rare. This the thinner ringages in the Cuban portfolio are becoming rare. They're full of flavor, full of aroma. Uh, yes, the smoke might be lesser, uh, which is the case. and <clears throat> But it is full of nuts and cream. And, 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 uh, and the age has really brought it uh, to the level where, where one just gets mesmerized by the enjoyment gotcha. of this entire thing and, and the wholesome feeling. And this cigar is... If I'm not wrong, at least now seven years old. Very nice. Wow. I smoked yeah. the. We get the U.S. We get the New World version of those, mm-hmm. and they're very, very mm-hmm. good. And they're not. Yep. And they're a nice over here. Now, I don't know what the Cubans are, but the New World is a very full body. So, like, mm-hmm. you got to have a nice, nice meal in you when you smoke one of those babies. Mm, of course. So. No, no. I, I've had those, and they're really nice as well. Yeah. Uh, and and the best part, I mean, for for the people who don't know. Uh, La Gloria Cubana was originally uh, made by or was owned by the family of Ernesto Carrillo, uh, who owns oh, wow. E.P. Carrillo. Yeah. Very nice. Look at that. We get, we get cigar history here, too, everybody. So. Thank you very much. So what do we want to discuss before we leave the fans? Because, you know, they always want to hear some words of wisdom what we think about your favorite person, um, the Orange Man. You haven't said hello to the Orange Man today, though. I'm a little. He's probably not going to be happy about you, Rizzo. Big, uh, well, he, he was happy because you mentioned him, Dragad. Uh, well, I mentioned him in the conversation of loser. Uh, losers. So you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, and losers. So there you go, because he'll be losing the presidential election this year, and I feel bad for him. So are you sure? You are you, now, are you sure about? Rizzo's going to start saying, "I hope so." Rizzo is saying hello to Camilla Harris. I go, "Hello, Miss Harris." Oh, Madam President, that's going to be his new thing. You know you love her. Stop it. So. <laughs> She's your favorite person. So what else has been going on, boys, while we're smoking our cigars and the fans she, are enjoying I'm surprised she, our show is not at every cigar store in the world. They play our show every week. I don't understand why they don't do that. Uh, that that oh. would happen. That would start happening very soon. Uh, yes. I'm very certain about that. And And the reason would be it'll be a show which – will not be a very <coughs> formal show, yet has hmm. a lot of information on cigars, as yes, well as a lot of fun stuff and, and the regular catch-ups that, that people generally have. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, so the cigar lounges who attract a lot of uh, individual smokers or, or people who just go and want to enjoy their time, this show could be actually their favorite part-time while they're smoking yeah. a cigar and listening to the show instead of obviously big groups who would want to interact amongst their own selves and all that stuff. So I think uh, this, this, this can be a new moment for us. I think so. I, I want to give a big shout out to the guys at David off in New York city at, at Williamsburg. Cause every time right. we go there, they're more than, they're more than gracious to us. Um, oh, so wow. we want to give them a, them a big, big, big shout out to those guys. I mean, you guys shout out to Tom Toms and whoever you are now, and this of one, course, and all the snobby clubs. Cigars. Yes, Arc, Arc, Arc cigars. Seriously, that's the name. Arc cigars. Arc yeah. cigars and wines. Oh God, forbid we don't have wine in this this name. Arc cigars and wine. Seriously. <laughs> So what do you do? You get all frou food and you go, hello, let's go to Arc Cigars and Wine today. Well, we did um, yes. <laughs> I know. I see that. I see that. And you dressed accordingly. It's beautiful. A lot of guys won't dress, but you, you uh, went out of your way. So. <laughs> have no choice. <laughs> that's because you have your buddy. That's because you have the guy who's wanted by Interpol 
next to you. And that's why. So unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. The guy with twelve million YouTube or twelve million Instagram followers I, I, who now I, is too good I, to I, show his face I, on our I show. I won't say anymore. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Maybe off Interpol screen. Interpol will be contacting Israeli. Off screen, Mustafa, yes. Off screen. Mustafa, will. I'm, Mustafa, I'm becoming yes, a sir. new friend very soon. You should know that. And sir, 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 not, again. I'm become, I'm going to be your very new best friend. Uh, very soon. I hope Raza has told you. And if not, then Raza, please do the needful based on the conversation we had yesterday. <laughs> I'll, I'll send him a message. Yeah, he's sitting next to you. Yeah, I'll text yeah, him. But he'll still send him a message because God, <laughs> the whole show is a, the whole show we do is about communication while you smoke cigars. But he's going to text him because he's sitting next to him because you know Sorry, that's what he does. I just need to put it on the record rather than just you know. Yeah. Right. Wow. Wow, you know, it's just it's the one in every group, and uh, we have our one. I'm so, your resident, you know, I'm your, I'm your re- resident Don Rickles. I'm here to, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm you here are to fuck it up slightly. <laughs> yeah, you do, right. you, you do, you perfect, you do, you perfectly. I know people say to me, um, that guy he does him perfectly, and I'm like, yeah, nobody else can do him. Um, so talking <laughs> about that next, next week, what oh, are we yes. going to talk about? What's our topic? Yes, huh? I mean, usually you have a brain fart. So what's your brain fart? <laughs> oh, oh, you're on the spot now. You got to actually oh, think. Shit. Oh, shit. We know we're doing Numidor's part two. I was going to give a topic that I don't yeah. know if everyone will relate to. Us three will relate to it, but I don't know if the audience okay. will. I was going to pick House our of Pain? favorite. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> favorite globally known cigar merchants. Okay. I love that. I love yeah, I know you it. love it. I know you love it. And I know Stephen it's will love it. I don't show. know how relatable a, that will be. Our favorite cigar, cigar merchants, cigar personalities, people who are all over Instagram, people who are all over YouTube. Oh. We can give them shout right. outs. Um, there's, there's a few people I'd like to smoke with. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let, let's, let's, oh. let's, let's, keep, let's keep it in a check. Either the favorite cigar merchants and cigar lounges or the personalities, because the top right. That's two different things. I, I was going to, I was going to keep it broad. Cigar personalities, but you can focus no, in no. on. No, no, just keep it to one. We can have it in two different episodes. Oh, otherwise. sorry, I thought it was my that show. Uh, uh, no, it, it's well, not. it is. It is. But apparently, Riz, Riz apparently now is is is, 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 is apparently the co-executive producer. So now he's telling you how you have to do your show. So there you go. No. So you know what it's going to happen. It's like being married. Next, yeah. next week there'll just be a black screen here on this side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, well, you know are we gonna do a? You know, you know when you, you put the TV doing... off and you get the fuzzy lines, it'll just be on this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuzzy static. Reza was here. <laughs> <laughs> but you will so do we want to do all choices once you wear a tie? Because you made me wear a tie and you didn't. So it's next a, time when you a, wear one, it's a really nice tie, by the way. Really nice. It's tie. beautiful. You sure. look really don't, good. And I'm sure underneath that, question. Stephen is wearing an outstanding tie, probably a Gianni Versace or a or a or a Giorgio. <laughs> um, at, at me, in my mind, oh I'm my always God. wearing a tie for you two. Right. Ah, uh, you're. In my mind, I'm never wearing shorts or pants. So there you go. <laughs> um, so. They're all out there, okay. commando. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, but no, all kidding aside, I think I like the idea because I know you have certain um, Instagram celebrities that are cigar guys, like the guy sitting next to you that we can't mention because of Interpol um, that you want to bring up. Yeah, that guy. Um, and I, I'm okay. I'm not, I don't, I only follow YouTube for cigars. Because um, if you, I well, you could have us for dinner. Well, I'm going to. And um, I've also talked to Hannibal Lecter. We're figuring out how to serve you. Um, the other thing I think would be good is <laughs> talk about our serv- our favorite lounges. No, 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 no. Hang, hang on, hang on. I this agree, conversation can lead to some. This co- Here's a suggestion, Stephen. Hmm. Why don't you just browse Instagram and give a shout out to three people you might find interesting who are in the cigar smoking community? Oh, I was going to do the three hookers. But anyway, okay, I can do that. So, <laughs> you know, the, all the hookers that are on there that have only fan pages that my friends keep sending me. I'm like, why are you sending me this crap? I can see so, like, look at her. I'm like, to bring this back down to ground level. Yes, I, there I, you go. I, 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 know we, I know the first warning sign says you should be 18 and above and all that stuff when you're yes, watching yes, yes. this show. May I bring you down to at least the 18th level because you've gone all plus 32 and all that stuff. So, guys, <laughs> let's, let's just yeah, yeah let, let's just keep it down there. So, 
No, what are we doing? I think I think I th- I think we do I think I think we do a little bit of the both. I think we do our I think we do our favorite Instagram personalities that are I guess cigar people, and I yeah. think that okay. we can also do favorite lounges because that would tie in if somebody says I would love to have lunch or dinner with so and so, and one of us says but I like this lounge, then maybe that's a lounge we can actually have lunch or dinner with them at. Sounds good to me. And so this way we kill two birds one stone. And the lounge Sounds good. Mm. Let's do that. Because the lounges have personality. We got, we got there in the end. It took a little bit, yes, but yeah. So, and <laughs> and I have a friend who owns a lounge in Palm Beach, so I'm gonna. I know my first shout Give out. Give that person a shout out. Great. Yeah, but well, not now. I'm gonna do it next week, or it uh, kills the whole show. And then I also have, of course, you know the ones I go to in Dubai. So, you know what? I'm, what, what I'm gonna shout out there. And then I've Sounds got to good. figure out where else I want to shout out to. I mean, because Hilga's House of Pain is everywhere. Um, and you can smoke cigars there. So I'll have to figure that out. I just want to see if anybody's paying attention. So what else, gentlemen, before we leave? Because Riz has got to sit and, you know, do what he does best all day. Nothing. <laughs> um, so, so what do you – so what, what are the plans for the day? Are you going to smoke your H. Upman next? Oh, uh, Reza, is this a question Riza. to you? I am. Riza? I'm going to do the H. Upman 54. Which, uh, Are you going to do this much. before we leave? He said it was outstanding. I think I'm going to smoke that. I, I love those. When a, I can get I those. I think he's probably going to do a Trinidad Media Luna. Oh, nice. nice. Are you going to smoke your H. Upman before we go? Are you going to light it before we leave? Or are you oh, just no, going to no, wait till the show ends? Right. I'm hands-free right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you do with your hands is your presence. I, 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 just, so. I just put out, <laughs> I, well, I burn my fingers. I just put out the uh, Edmundo, uh, the Petit Edmundo. Um, I'm done, and I'm going to sign off eventually, and then go and light up. Yeah. Right. Oh, excuse us. So that was it then, boys and girls. Yes. If you like the show, subscribe and like. If you're an Instagrammer and you think you should be a dinner guest, let us know yes. because we don't know who you are. And if you didn't like the show, write plenty of messages saying how much you hated it so I can print them out, put them in the dustbin. <laughs> and, and 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 David Bill will respond to you because David responds to all the messages. Oddly enough, oh yes, so oh yes. But we hope you guys enjoyed the show. It's always good to have my two mates here. And thank you for thank watching. You Don't forget, you can catch us every Saturday morning wherever you get your YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. We're everywhere. Um, and if you want to find me on Instagram, even though these two nice gentlemen have their Instagram handles there, you can find us at Two Old Farts Making Noises on Instagram. And there's Riz's Instagram and there's Usman's new Instagram because his other one got hacked. So he's back. Yeah. Um, and there you go. So we're all back together on Instagram. You can follow us there and our crazy adventures. And that's it. We hope to see everybody next week. And who knows what we'll be smoking next week. Well, I pretty much know. So there you go, everybody. Everybody have a great day. Right, Cheers, guys. everybody. Thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye.